Someone on Facebook asked me about uh, the plastic card or what card or how did I <coughs> how did I do the rocks. So to explain, I used pieces of plastic card and I just scrape at the paint. But when because I can't show everything with this camera, I'm quite often masking what I'm doing with my hands, and I can't do much about that. But it's really just on the wet paint, just scraping, just scraping out. Really, you're just using that, and I I use um, the the round edge as well. I don't want pointed corners on all of them, but it's just a piece of card. I've got lots of them. No, just a, another one. Well, that's not one. Uh, I've got them all over the place, and I lose them. That's why I've got so many. Oh, a couple of those. A smaller one, whole one here. That was uh, B and Q. Old age pensioners get get ten percent off on Wednesdays. So there we are. Just loads of bits of card. Don't, instead of throwing throwing them in the bin, all cut up in a thousand pieces, use them for your painting. So well, I'll I'll try and do a demonstration of. Uh, painting rocks with a in, in a wood because you like woods and you like rocks. So uh, I'm just going to move the board up a bit. It's just a little bit too low. Using a John, uh, using a Frank Herring easel, I believe. It's a metal easel, very good. Frank gave it to me. So I've got the board at about 45 degrees, probably a little bit steeper. So we'll uh, start rocky stream coming down here. Um, loads of rocks in the background. Could be a Welsh stream in North Wales, something like that. These are just showing where I'm going to approximately put some some rocks. So I have to remember that when I do the rock, put the rocks in, that I I put enough wet paint on them, bits of grass. Uh, we'll have some trees coming up here. So I'll just do some uh, intelligent scraping. <laughs> so that's so that's me. That's 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 the rock sorted out. Right, find the palette. There it is. This is the last painting I should be doing for a few days. Well, nothing is going on. Uh, I'll just give it a clean spray with a bit of a bit of water. And that'll give the paint a little bit of a soften, soften as well. That's it. Right, okay. So we'll, uh, with me hake, I'll wet the papers all over. The paper will grow. And as it does, we can stretch it, reclip it. You don't need to stretch the paper. This is Fabriano, 130 pounds. Now you've got to allow for the fact that when you put paint on this, it all runs down, gravity. Maybe that's just a little bit too, too steep, so we'll alter it again. Okay. That's... Right, now you can see the paper is, is getting bouncy now. I'm going to put a, a bit of a warm colour in there, a bit of, bit of raw sienna. Just all over that. Now, the cloth. Um, now, I want to put a bit of blue. That's a bit more grey than blue. Bit of bit of alizarin on in the, in the blue. Just 
Let's just put some in the, in the, the water here. Right, now we'll have a bit of alizarin in the background. Give a bit of a distance and we can put some sienna in there as well. Paint around the rocks for the moment. Some nice rich colours. We're going to have some grasses in there. So, a bit of a uh, Payne's Grey now, mix in with the burnt sienna. So let's, sort of an autumn scene. And we'll uh, go a bit ready. Be careful that you don't make both sides the same. And we'll get some dark, good rich dark in here. Right, okay, now this is all going to be a bit, bit different. But it doesn't matter, it's about uh, painting painting rocks. But I want to just clip the paper. But the the painter Cotsman, 21 mil tubes, he went to Newton, they're student quality. They haven't got the saturation of artist quality, but they're still good. Uh, right, so with a finger, just start to scrape out. Finger is the same as the plastic card. Right, so that's the background, we can add to that. Let's get some in the top here. Right, put in some rocks in the background now. So, a bit of red. card and we'll just lift out look just scraping can you see that just just overdoing it of course but doesn't matter so these are these are your small rocks in the distance okay now we'll uh, we'll work into the main main rocks now. So a melange of colours. Look, sienna, burnt sienna, alizarin, ultramarine. Get it all in there. Needs to be wet. If it's too dry, it'll, it won't scrape very well. And then don't forget where your shadows are. So that's where we want our dark. But I, I don't use the paint spray on its own. I'll, I'll go back to this one over this side. Because it will dry before I get a chance to have a go at it. So I'm going to have to really work quick with this while the paper's wet.
more, more, more. See, my paint's nice and sloppy now. Right, okay, card. Uh, look. Try to scrape your your lights, and when you move the paint, it gives you the shadows of the rocks. Right, well we can put some foliage in there. So is this all painting with with your card? And then right. Uh, where's my brush? There's my brush. I'm gonna do a bit on there. grass there and while that's all drying off okay so so that's that's our basic rocks but as that dries we can texture over some of that and put some some bushes in Go the other way with that, they're too much that side. Look, they're still growing. But by doing this, it keeps the, the paper perfectly flat. Right, uh, we'll, we'll start on the background. Maybe I'll leave that as it is and just put some bear trees up. So, a bit of green, so yellow. My, my yellow is so hard now. But I like to warm it up with a bit of sienna, burnt sienna. Just some bushes here. No, I'm just inventing this, just using all the bits of the hake to have some fun. Then I can put some shadow back in here and then etch in some tree or some some stuff. Let's clear up some space here. So I'm working fast and we just so they've, they've lost their leaves lower down. But these are bushy things. They're all just simple. Simple stuff. It looks a lot, but it's not. As you can see, it's all done very quickly. Right, let's put a little bit of texture on, on this here. So a bit of, bit of ochre and red and ready rocks because it's foreground. I'll dry some of this. 
well I'll dry it all but then I'll do some tumbly water and then uh, oh, that's a bit, bit of work in the background I might have to put a bit of dry brush on on the top of that. Oh, helps just this little bit of detail. It's creating something out of nothing and using a bit of your imagination. I, my imagination is not that great. It's just I work from experience. Having done thousands of these, some are good, some are not so good. Right, okay, now we're going with our reds. I'm ready, so use the side of the brush here. We want it hard, or th otherwise it'll look a bit smudged like that. That's not so good, is it? No. some of that. Gives an impression of, of depth. I can put a bit of blue in there if you wish. It's probably better before I mucked about it. But anyway, there we are, that's that. I'm going to dry it off with the hair dryer. I should take your headphones off. Ready? Go. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Right, uh, we'll clean the brush and we'll put a bit of background colour. Well, we have a bit of sky, of course, because we've got the blue. So, I'm going to put grass in there. And we've got this sort of And into this, we need to put in some bit of shadow in or reflection. Right now, I want some green or some bushy stuff in there. So burnt sienna, yellow, thick, thick paints. So you don't want much water on your brush for this. Put a bit of shadow in there for these bushes, and we'll put a we'll put a heavy bush in here. So it's sort of in the shadow. I just want to put some, some bushes in here. Now it's reflecting the light from the window above. Right, let's put a bit of wicker work in. Let's 
of just creating an impression of a lot going on when in fact there's there's nothing. Just some of this here. Give an impression of a lot going on in the, in, the, in the background. But really, it's just an impression. Your eye, or your brain, fills in the gaps. That's the idea of it. Right, let's uh, put a couple of birds in. The birds just give a, a link to the land. Okay, we'll assign that and I'll put it in a mount. So I hope you've got a better idea of using the, the plastic card. Uh, <coughs> take a bit of that off. So there we are. Very simple. It looks complicated, but it isn't. You saw what I did. You've got to practice these things. It's taken me a long time to be able to do even this. You have to put the time in if you want to be a painter, or watercolour painter. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Let's bring you around a bit, and then we'll go to, well, I'm just going to raise the camera up so I can get a better angle, get it more square. So there we are. I hope uh, I hope that uh, helps. That hasn't quite worked. I forgot about that. I should have uh, done something better there, but never mind. Uh, the background it looks like uh, it could be Ashdown Forest. It could be Headley Heath. It could be anywhere where you've got fast flowing water coming down from a hill in a valley after the rain. But have a go at these sort of things until you learn yourself how to actually do it. And do it a lot better than I do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.